So a lot of you guys aren't seeing success with your ads because you're spending a whole lot of time and money showing your ads to cold audiences filled with people who don't want what you have to offer. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys a super effective Instagram Reels ad strategy that is going to completely eliminate that problem for you. But what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. This is Marketing with Dev. Make sure you guys give me a like, comment, subscribe, and hit those bell notifications so you can be notified when I drop new videos just like this one. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys our two by four Instagram real strategy that has been absolutely killing it for our clients. So I'm going to start this video off like this, explaining to you guys how the strategy works, and then we're going to head into the ads manager and then you can actually watch me set it up in real time. So y'all ready? Let's go. So there are two parts of this two by four Instagram Reels ad strategy that we have. Part one is going to be prospecting and part two is going to be retargeting. For the prospecting part of this campaign, we're going to be using two different ad creatives or two different ad videos. Plus, we're also going to be using two ad sets. And these two creatives that we're going to be using are just going to be two videos that are between 30 and 59 seconds that are just going to be you teaching, you giving game, you giving valuable instruction that somebody can actually watch that video and go apply what you're teaching and they can actually get some kind of results. We don't want to make any calls to action at all, none. So whatever the biggest problem that your ideal clients or your ideal customers are having, you want to make a video that if they watch it, they can actually get help in solving that problem. And we recommend that you spend anywhere between 10 and 20 bucks per ad set for part one of the strategy. So we want to make sure that the two ads that we're using both have their own ad set. And we want to do this because we want each ad set to get the same amount of ad spend so we can more accurately determine which ad set is performing the best. And when we set this campaign up, we're going to be using the engagement objective and optimizing for video views. The purpose of this part of the strategy is not to get leads, it's not to get sales, it's simply to just warm up this audience so we can get them to know, like, and trust us. We want as many interested people as possible to watch these videos. Then we can start to set segment the interested prospects by how much of the video they actually watch. Now, the second part of the strategy is just going to be retargeting the people who actually showed interest in our part one ad video. This can be done by creating custom audiences of people who watch 25%, 50%, 75%, and 95% of your video. So you want to make sure that you make all four of those custom audiences for each video. So that's two videos that you're making four different custom audiences for. So you should have a total of eight custom audiences. And it's important that you create an individual custom audience for each percentage so you can actually know how many people are in each audience. So you know how many people are watching 25%, 50%, 75%, and 95% of your video. So you know where people are kind of dropping off. For this second part of the strategy, we're going to be using four different ad videos and four different ad sets. All four audiences will be the same, but the only difference is that each ad set will have a different ad video. And the audiences that we're going to be targeting in part two of this strategy is going to be the audiences of people who watch 25%, 50%, 75%, and 95% of both part one videos. So you should have a total of eight different custom audiences inside of that audience when you're targeting on the ad set level. With these four videos, two of them should be educational and two of them should be testimonial style videos. Similar to the part one video, you want to make sure that you have some videos that are actually teaching people something, are actually helping them get a desired result. Not just you asking for a lead or for a sale, but you actually want to give value here, right? It's very important that we do that. And for the testimonials, we can have direct testimonials where we have people actually just recording themselves, saying nice things about you or we can actually use a compilation of different customer reviews or something like that for this part of the strategy we recommend that you start off with at least about 20 bucks a day per ad set so now that i just talked you guys through it it's time for us to head into the ads manager so i can actually show you guys how we set it up come on let's go okay guys so we're in the ads manager and i'm going to show you guys how we set up phase one so we're in a demo account the first thing we're going to do is select this green create button in the top left and now we are prompted to choose a campaign objective. So like I told you guys in the beginning of the video, we're going to be choosing an, engage, an engagement campaign. So select engagement and select continue. We always want to name the campaign. So let's give this campaign a name, a one level one, meaning it is going to be prospecting and it's a reels ad. So we want to make sure that we say that reels ad and it is an engagement campaign or more specifically video views because we want 
people to view this video as many times as possible. So after we have all of that set up, we can now go to next on the bottom right. Now we are on the ad set level. And before we name this ad set, we have to figure out the audience first. So we'll come back to that name. So conversion location for the sake of this specific strategy, we want the conversion location to be on your ad. So we're going to select on your ad right here. And the engagement type is going to be video views. After you have that, we can go down to daily budget. And this is where you are going to select whatever budget um, fits for you. But we suggest anywhere in between 10 to 20 bucks a day per ad set um, for this specific strategy. And once you have all of that set up, we can now go down to audiences. So sometimes it is good to have a broad audience, but if you're somebody like myself who only wants to speak with people who are business owners, then it is good to apply one, maybe two um, small interests. I mean, well, large interests just so we can have and maintain a broad audience, right? So let's say for me, I'll just use small business owners just to make sure I'm showing my ad videos only to people who have businesses, right? So <clears throat> right now this estimated audience size is 4.5 to 5.2 million people. Um, and let's go up here and select, select this and rename it to small business owners. That is going to be the name of this ad set. Now let's continue back down to where we were inside detailed targeting we select small business owners for you you're going to select any interest that um is actually going to work for your business make sure that it's actually relevant um and make sure that the audience is still very large we don't want to have a small audience because we just want people to view this video so we want to make sure we're still working with a large audience so if your your audience should probably be even bigger than this right so we want to make sure we have a big audience for placements now, we're going to select manual placements because remember, we only want these to be shown on Instagram, right? So we're going to deselect audience network, deselect Facebook and deselect messenger. We only want Instagram um, placements. And if you want to get more specific, you can just make sure that these are only in the reels. But for the sake of this example, we're going to allow this to be in the feed as well. Um, so once we have that, we can now go to next and it's going to take us to the ad level. So now let's name this ad. So we know we're going to be using two different videos for this part of the strategy. So we can just simply name this one video one. No problem, just like that. And now we're going to add creative, right? So this is where we're actually going to select the video that we're going to use. So you can press right here, add video, or you can press right here to create video. So we recommend you already have your videos made. So what you would do is select add video. Here you can select which video that you're going to want to use. We'll just use this one for an example. Next, you can make any enhancements that you need to make next. Okay, perfect. We have this video in here. Now for um, this primary text, what you're going to want to do is write some copy using the PAS formula method, right? So I've taught about this many times before on other videos in this channel. So the PAS method is simply just pain, agitate that pain and then provide the solution. So you're going to call out whatever the biggest pain point that your ideal clients or your ideal customers are having. You're going to then agitate that pain point by, you know, letting them know what bad things will happen if they don't then solve this problem and then provide your video, this video ad as a solution to whatever that pain is, right? So it's very important that your video is actually helpful because we don't have a call to action with this ad, right? We only want people to watch this video. We don't want them to click on anything. We don't want them to do anything else besides watch this video. So once you have that copy in there, you would place that in here and then you would be ready to publish, but we have to make that additional additional ad set like I told you guys, right? So what we're going to do is go to the ad set, then go to the three dots on the right hand side, and then we're going to select quickly duplicate. So now what we just did is create an exactly the same ad set as the one we were just in. So what we have to do first now is change um, 
the video, right? Because we're going to make sure that the small business owners is the same exact audience as it was in the last one because the only thing that we're changing is going to be the ad video. So what you would do is go down here to the video and then you would select a new video, right? So whatever your second video is gonna be, we're going to change video and select it, right? Let's say it's this. This is going to be your second video that we are going to be using, right? So that's the beauty of setting it up all the first time and then just quickly duplicating it because the only thing you're going to have to change is the video. So once we have that in, we can now change this to video two because this is the second video, right? So pretty straightforward how we set it up. And again, you guys will have your primary text in here. I don't because I'm just showing you guys how we would set it up. Um, but yeah, you would have all of this and this is all part one of the strategy calls for you to do. You would then publish this entire campaign. So hit publish in the bottom um, right hand corner and make sure that each ad set and each ad level is individually published. So that's how you set up part one of the strategy. I'm now going to show you guys how to set up part two. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you guys how to set up part two of the strategy. So again, press this green create button in the top left hand corner. But now this time, instead of an engagement campaign, we're going to be using a sales campaign because now we're actually trying to get these people and convert them as leads or sales or whatever the case may be, right? It's no longer an engagement campaign. We don't just want them to watch the video now, we want them to take an action. So let's select sales and select continue. Cool, same thing here. Campaign name, we're always going to name it. So L2, since this is going to be retargeting, Reels ad, and we can go conversions, right? So we know the exact objective of the campaign. And now we can go to the bottom right-hand corner and select next. Now we have the ad set. So all four of these ad sets are going to have the same name and it's going to be the video viewers, 25% or more video viewers from the previous two ads, right? So like I told you guys in the beginning, you need to create a custom audience of all, if each individual percentage that watch your video. So create a custom audience of people who watch 25% of your video, both videos, both of those ad videos for part one, 50% uh, percentage and 75% uh, percentage and also 95 percentage you need to create a custom audience for each one so you should have a total of eight different custom audiences because there are two different videos that you're using and you need to make four custom audiences for each one so you should have a total of eight so let's name this asset name 25 percent or more ad viewers and all four ad sets will have this same asset name choose where you want to drive sales so it's going to be your website so obviously you're going to add your website link and this is where we're actually going to send the traffic um, select your pixel that you want to use select the conversion event that you want to use this is my custom one um, and now we're getting down to the budget so I recommend we spend at least about 20 bucks a day for each of these um, ad sets and it may take a while for you to build up the, these custom audiences because the audiences are going to build as the people actually watch from the first part of the strategy. So the more people who watch those videos, the larger the audience will become for the people who are going to be seeing these videos. So the people who are going to be seeing these videos are only the people who watch 25% or more of the first two ad videos from part one. So after we got our budget in there, now this is where we're going to want to add our custom audiences, right? So here we are right here where it says custom audiences. We are going to add all of these. So video one, 25% viewers, we're gonna add that one. Video one, 50% viewers, we're gonna add that one. Video one, 75% viewers, we're gonna add that one. Video one, 95% video viewers. And the same thing for video two, 25% viewers, 50% viewers, 75% viewers, and 95% viewers. So this is just an example showing you guys. So these um, audiences don't really have people in it yet because we aren't running the ads for the first two ads in part one, right? But when you are running those ads, you're going to have a bigger audience and this estimated daily results obviously will go up because there will be more people in your audience. 
Um, now we're going down <clears throat> locations. We're in the United States, so we're going to make sure that remains for us, and we only want to show our ads in the United States. If you're in a different country or you want to send your ads to other countries, then you can just edit here and select which countries you want to use. Um, all genders, we're going to leave that. Detail targeting, we're going to leave that alone because we already have our targeting and it's going to be our custom audiences. And for placements, we're going to do manual placements again because we only want these to be shown on Instagram, right? So let's uncheck audience network, let's uncheck Facebook, and let's uncheck messenger. So we can leave feeds and stories and reels and we can select next. And now we are going to be brought to the ad level. So again, we are here and now we are have four different videos that we're supposed to be testing how, testing out in this level, right? So we can name all of these videos, video one, video two, video three, and video four. So this was going to be video one since it's going to be the first one. <clears throat> and we want two educational videos and we want two testimonial style videos, right? So it's very important that we have that so you can make sure that we're testing the two different types of content. So what we're gonna wanna do is add your video. So for the sake of, sake of example, let's just add this one. Done. You're going to add your primary text here, your body copy. So I have an entire video explaining how you can write powerful Facebook ad copy. So you guys check that out if you want to know step-by-step -step how to do it. You're going to add your headline and you're going to add your website URL right here that you want to use, right? Very important that you don't forget the URL. And then you will be good to go. And now all we have to do, since we want to use the same audience for each ad set, all we have to do is go to this ad set now on the left hand side, go to the right and click these three dots and select quickly duplicate. Now the only thing we have to do is just change the video that's in here, right? Because you guys are going to have your body copy and your headline and your URL already in here. So when you quit select duplicate, all of that stuff will be here and the only thing you'll have to do is change the video. So let's change this video to this one, let's add this, next, All right? So let's call that video two. Obviously you guys are going to be adding your new videos in that you're going to be doing. <clears throat> and then we're going to do this two more times, right? Go quickly duplicate. And we're going to do the same thing. Once we have that duplicated again, now let's go to the ad level here. What we're gonna do, change this video to your third video and then change this title to video three. And the last time, go to the ad set level, action menu, quickly duplicate and do the same thing for a fourth time, right? So we can go down to the ad level, change this from video three to video four and then you're going to actually change the video from video three to video four. And remember guys, we want two educational videos and we want two testimonial style videos. That's how we're going to um, run this campaign. And after you do all of that, you can go from the top, select publish, and then make sure you publish and make sure each individual ad set and ad level is published. And that is how you set up part one and part two of the strategy. And there you have it guys, that is our two by four Instagram Reels ad strategy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys give me a like, comment, subscribe, and hit those bell notifications so you can be notified when I drop new videos just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.